Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get all the videos on timely manner. This is humongous. <laughs> like, I knew it was gonna be a big palette, but I didn't know it was gonna be this huge. Not complaining at all, but I just didn't realize it was gonna be so big. But yeah, this is my Jaclyn Hill. It's still a very big palette, and the James one is still sufficiently bigger. Like, it's so much bigger. Definitely my biggest palette, probably will always be my biggest palette. So this is what it looks like, Morphe X James Charles. And then the back, it has a little sticker that says the James Charles palette. I'm giving you literally all the information you would ever need. But yeah, anyway, now let's open it. The moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I've literally, I I've seen so many videos about this and now that I actually have it in my hands, it's so weird. Yeah, I cannot wait to use this. As you guys probably know, um, it has the sheet of all the names on the names of the shades which i feel like they almost could have just like put on the palette because i feel like there's a lot of room in between them so i feel like they could have put them in the palette which i really would have loved a lot more but it is still really nice that they even had shades on the top it says unleash your inner artist of course and then the palette looks like this so pretty i've been dying to like see the red in person because supposedly it's like a true red and i don't have a true red i'm gonna compare it to like the red in the morphe 35b i don't like the red in here because it's not like a real real red that's the red in the morphe 35b right there also this palette seems so small compared to the james one so that's the difference of the 
two reds. This one in the 35B looks a little more faded, if you will, than the one in the James one. Let's go ahead and get swatching before I take my makeup off and we actually do a look. Also, I am doing finger swatches, which I know some people don't like finger swatches that much, but I think that finger swatches still give you some information about how the shadows will work and whatnot. Anyway, I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna do like each row, so like this, like left to right going down the rows. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started because I've been rambling for about almost 10 minutes already. So let's go ahead and get to the swatches. So I got makeup remover so I can take it off between times. I'm using the Lancome makeup remover. I also got some of these. So I'm gonna like do the swatches and then I'll be back because this video will be way too long if I just like swatch the whole thing. I'm sorry if you wanted to see that, but just trust me, I'm not gonna like try to fake the swatches i'm gonna give you my honest opinion i'll be back with swatches row by row oh my gosh okay so these are so pretty like i literally can't i felt the first one and i was so happy basically um i swatched the first one on my finger like i just rubbed it on my finger and it was so soft like way better than I anticipated it being. Anyways, you guys probably want to see what they look like, so I will show them and like read them off to you. The first color in the palette is the shade called Canvas, which is just like a base shade. Then the next one is Ring Light, which is just like a shimmery white color. And then So Good, which when I swatched it, I had to put a couple layers just because it's not super duper pigmented, but I bet with um like a spray, like a setting spray, it would be way more pigmented, but it did pretty good just swatched. Then the next one is 518, which is just like a nice orange shade. And then Rusted, which is like a rusty type of reddish shade. It's more of like a burnt red. And then the next one is Halloween, the cranberry shimmery shade. And then Wig, which is a nice golden shade. And then Tea, which is a really nice, again, nice brown, uh, brownish shade. But it's like not super brown. It's, I don't know. It's a nice brown shade okay the next row starts with punch me which is a nice transitiony type shade and then sister which is like a pinky shade the next shade is literally and it's pretty almost like orangey with undertoned shade and then you're kidding which is the red shade that everyone talks about i do think is a true red after all i really really like it and then shook which is a nice I keep saying nice, I need to stop saying it, but it is like a cranberry type shade again. And then Boutique, which is a burgundy. And then Benny, which is almost black, but it's not, it's like a purplish brownish undertone. So this third row with the bigger pans, like I said, starts with the shade of Flashback, which is the white shade. And then Face, type of highlighty shade, it's swatched super pretty. And then Tune, which is like a yellowy shade and then code james which is a nice orangey burnt orange and then a 10 percent off which is a super pretty brownish warm tone shade i keep saying witches and shade a ton but <laughs> and 10 percent off this is a nice type of brown shade not as warm toned i feel like but it is really nice to have oh did i say that was 10 percent off i meant no beans I feel like I said 10% off. I meant no beans. And then Spooky, which is the matte black shade. I did layer this one up a little bit. It is a really nice brown black shade. My arm is already getting raw. So that's really just great. And I'm also running out of cotton rounds. Didn't really think this through much, but anyway, off to the fourth row okay so this why am i pink fourth row starts with b and this is definitely the best yellow i have and i haven't even put it on my eyes yet but this swatched so well next shade is guac i love that shade name uh it's super pretty green and then hello which is a nice bl icy blue and then playground such a pigmented blue brother i love this shade i think it's really unique and pretty it's almost like a purpley kind of blue shade and then artistry which i've heard a lot of great things about and it is a super pretty shade i did layer it up a little bit but it is really pretty and then love that which is a super nice pink shade and then pinkity drinkity which is a nice light pink shade now it's the last row and then we can actually get started with 
the look. Bottom row, left to right, starts with Social Blade, which is a nice lime green matte shade. And then Daddy, which is a really pretty green matte shade. It's like a forest kind of darkish green. And then Cape Cod, which is such a unique color. I don't have anything like this. Cola, which is a navy acapella, super pretty blue shimmery shade and then escape which is a nice purple darker purple shade and single which is a nice medium toned purple i don't know and last but very not least skip which i swatched this and i was wowed because it is such a neon pink shade definitely don't have a shade this neon and bright pink so i am excited to give that a go yeah now i have swatched all of the shades in this palette and i cannot wait to do an eye look with it so i'm gonna go ahead and take off my makeup and i'm going to do an eye look all right my makeup is mainly off i just did my eyebrows excuse how they look i'm a little out of practice it's been a long time since i've done my eyebrows I'm gonna move on to the eye look because that's our main focus i've heard there's a thing with concealer like you shouldn't use it because it affects how it looks so I, i'm gonna use it but i'm also going to use an eyeshadow primer i don't have like the mac paint pot which i wish that i had and i don't have the morphe one so we're gonna deal with this this is the essence color intensifying eyeshadow base so it's still an eyeshadow base so hopefully it works out we will just have to see my desk is a mess we're not gonna look at that basically um i can't decide which one i'm gonna do it on okay i'm gonna do the eyeshadow base on this side and then the concealer on this side i kind of like this eye better so hopefully that doesn't affect it too much but i haven't used this in a long time either so hopefully it's like fine still should be though kind of burning my eyes a little bit but it should be okay this doesn't give a whole lot of coverage to my eye so hopefully my eye doesn't get stained but probably will because we're working with colorful eyeshadows but then the other side i'm going to use my tart shape tape this is very close to running out like when i open it it barely gets any on the brush so it's a little dry but hopefully it will be okay i'm not going to use a whole ton from my eyelashes up to my eyebrow i'm not gonna do anything super crazy i always like using the shape tape when i do a colorful look so this would be my go-to but this is just what i've heard works best so now we get into the palette i still don't know what look i want to do low-key tempted to do the one on here like the eyes but no, we're not gonna do we're gonna make our own look and be creative. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with hmm, do I wanna do a more colorful look or a more natural look? We're gonna take this shade. This one is pinkity drinkity, and we're just gonna put that as our transition shade. Also, I know that a lot of videos that I've seen start with the bright shade first or the darkest shade and work up to their transition shade. I don't usually do that. And also, I don't know what look I'm going to do. So I don't want to start with a crazy shade. Not gonna lie, so far the concealer side is winning because I like how it looks more. It looks more diffused. In person, you can definitely see it. But that's just one shade. So let's get on with it because this is gonna be really long. And good thing I have a backup battery now because I'm gonna need it. So this is the Luxie 131 brush. And it just looks like that. I didn't get the James Charles brush set because it's like 150 something dollars. So we're using these brushes. Kind of want to do the shade right here so that's just what we're gonna do okay this is so pigmented So I'm noticing, can you see the patchiness already? 
and I didn't want that to happen because I wanted to like the concealer side better. It does look a little bit more like diffused on this side so far. There is some patchiness, but it's not like crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in with the brush that we used for Pinkity Drinkity and just blend because I don't want it to not be blended. Okay, so then um, I'm gonna go in to... Oh wait, I didn't tell you the... Shade. That was love that and now I'm gonna go into the shade Mary which I was talking about earlier that I really wanted to use and I'm going to just Can I use that shade there? And just kind of blend it out Okay, not gonna lie, I like the concealer side better so far. As you can tell, it just looks more blended on this side than this side. I know the look does not look good right now. It's my fault that I'm doing really bad, but I am really liking the concealer side so far. I'm now gonna deepen it up more with the purple shade. Um, I'm using another Luxie brush. This is the 141, it's just like a round pencil brush. It didn't focus, but kind of just gonna take that and I don't know, just add more dimension because right now it just looks like a pink blob on my face. Okay, excuse my lack of skill. Like, I am not with it right now. Oh, this purple shade is called Escape. They're looking about the same right now, but I'm still liking the concealer side better. Now I think I'm gonna cut my crease. All right, creases are cut. Kind of looks pretty bad. Camera battery is flashing, but okay, those are so uneven. It's not even funny. Okay, lashes will cover it. It's okay. I think the shade that I'm gonna use for my lid is probably the purple shade that i've been seeing everywhere yeah i think i'm just gonna use this purple shade because i it really just like grabs my attention this is the artistry shade that's what it looks like without the base and it's beautiful so can't wait to see it with the base this is the brush that i use a lot for my lid um this is like what i use every single time but it's a paint brush from hobby lobby Okay, I'm now actually going to go in with the dark purple shade again and kind of just like get some matte over there, you know? I'm using another Lexi brush and it's the 121 brush, just a nice more precise brush and I'm just gonna add this purple matte shade to the outside because I don't know, I kind of want a matte shade out there. Okay, yeah, that makes it look so much better. Okay, I'm kind of just adding the colors back in that we used earlier. Okay, lashes will make this so much better and the rest of my face being done will make it a lot better as well. So I'm gonna add eyeliner, lashes, and my the rest of my face and I'll be back with you guys. It, it might be a little bit, but I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so the look is done. I look crazy because I put like, okay, I watched one of Nikki Tutorials' like videos and she did like this three dot thing with the end of her mascara and I tried that because I wanted a little something special on my lower lashes and um, it's definitely um, different than what I would usually do because it just looks like I'd made a mistake on me but Nikki can pull off anything so the highlighter I used was 
um, Rodeo Drive in this palette. I didn't realize the Rodeo Drive would actually work on my skin and it didn't, didn't even leave like, like a line. Um, I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but I tried it out last night and it was good. So I used it today, and, but I also used my Aurora Glow Kit for the first time in a while. And I used the purple shade just as a little topper. You can barely even like see that it's there, but... And then I used the same exact shades I did on my top my top of the top of my eyeshadow um on my lower lashes too and i also added the purple shade right here really close to my eye for my lip there it is i used the tarte rainforest of the sea lipstick in the shade rum punch it's really a pretty shade i didn't want to do something like super monochromatic like this even though this would be really pretty still i didn't want to do that just so i could have the focus more on the eyes oh something i did want to do was add some highlight to my inner corner and brow bone that would be much needed i'm gonna take this brush and i'm gonna use i don't know do i want to do a matte one or a shimmer one i think i'm just gonna use this white honestly i was gonna do shimmer but i'm just gonna use the white um you can barely tell i did it also i'm oh my gosh i forgot eyebrow gel i'm losing it Okay, now the look is complete. For lashes, I use the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. Um, this is in the style Instagram. I got these in my BoxyCharm. I didn't cut them, so they're a little long, but what can you do? You could cut them, I guess. But for like a fifth time, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited that I got this palette. It is so good. Exactly what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be a really good, colorful palette that... Um, is better than the Morphe 35B. So yeah, look out for some more tutorials with this palette at some point. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, overall, I would recommend this palette, obviously. Um, if you can get your hands on it, I would if you like doing colorful looks or anything like that. Or even natural looks because it has a natural section as well. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much.